Hey guys, I want to make something cool today. How about obelisks? Arcane obelisks. How about floating obelisks? Something like this? Yeah. Alright. Come on. Semi-successful. Alright guys, we're just going to take a good piece of foam here. Good half inch wide, or inch wide. Of our cells. Enough we can make two pillars out of it. Alright, that's a more manageable size. Uh, just take that. Cut it about in half. Nice. Do that with the other one, then hit it with hit it with everybody's favorite, some Mod Podge. Black paint, Mod Podge, good to go. Hey, you can see I got a little carried away, started working on one of those obelisks without the camera on, but don't worry, we're making two. Just take your bases, coat them in some brown paint, and get going. All right, grab your obelisk, dry brush, dark brown paint. Go ahead and give it a heavy brush, but don't cover all those recesses. Black paint, free shading. Next up, grab yourself a lighter brown. I'm using Territorial Beige by Apple Barrel. Go ahead and mix that with your darker brown you already got out, and just hit a little bit less of the obelisk. Time for some gray. Things are rock, isn't it? It's got to have gray in it somewhere. Hey, foam bricks. You know the kind you were going to use for your 10,000 piece castle build? Well, just steal a few of those and cut about a third off so they look like they're sticking out of the ground. We'll come back and add dirt and grass, so don't worry about getting them perfect. I'm just adding some flavor to these things. There are supposed to be some type of arcane magics making them float. But we can just draw some circles with lines coming out of them. Use the back of a paintbrush or a round pen and add some cool.
yourself a paper clip, unbend it, then rebend it around a paintbrush and get that thing glued down to your base. For the other pillar, I used this bead wire. Uh, it was a mess, so I recommend just using a paper clip. Uh, but if you had a thinner one, it'd look better. So this is the other pillar for these stones. I went for a little less arcane look uh, on the base that's just coconut fiber. I already got it glued down, uh, but the same deal. Just cut them in half, make a pattern on them, get them glued down. You guys get to see my sick freehand skills now. Okay, seriously, if you're like me, just pick some easy shapes, paint them on in a darker color, then highlight them in that color mixed with a little bit of white, or in this case, Vallejo pale flesh color. It's okay that these symbols aren't perfect. I mean, these obelisks are supposed to be old, look old. Some ancient mage inscribed these glyphs a millennia ago, and they're still crispy? Yeah, I don't think so. little pieces of cork and there's that bead wire I was telling you about all you're gonna want to do is take that cork and spear that bead wire right through it bend it into some funky shapes and then see if it fits on your pillar if you like it go ahead and lock it down with some super glue you're gonna want to paint the cork to look like the stone of the pillar or obelisk and then for the wire we're gonna paint that black we don't want that to show as much as possible.
got our base all covered up in some of that dark brown now we're just going to take a little bit of that territorial beige do about 80% of the stones try not to get any of that paint into those patterns we made on our stones and then take a little bit of that gray and do about 60% and make for a nice little color variation even though these stones on the bottom aren't the star of the show we'll be looking at it. Alright, so this is where I came in and anywhere I saw on that bead wire, uh, anywhere shiny, came in and just put another black coat of paint over it. We don't want none of that silver showing through if we can help it. throw a little bit of green paint on these bases even though we're gonna go over it with some rock sand grass tufts uh, a little bit of color variation helps wherever you can put it time for the fun stuff put some glue on that base grab yourself some rocks grass stuff sand whatever you got put it on there that's what makes it look good I think I'm working with some army painter stuff here base gravel and uh, grass stuff as well and then uh, after that we'll come in and static grass it
don't mind him. That's just health and safety, making sure my workstation's up to code. Talking about safety, you're going to see me try to use this static grass applicator. And I'll tell you what, I had lightning shooting out of that thing. Uh, so don't use it like I was using it because I was doing something wrong. All right, these bases are looking a little too bright for me. So we're gonna use some of this green wash and Reichlin Fuss shade, get them toned down a bit. Also, I got to use my pipette here. I got to use my pipette to pipe my wash. Uh, that's fun, pipette. Hey guys, for the final thing, we're just going to have to glue this down, hit it with a nice matte clear coat. Before you do that, come back in, shade up the bottoms. I used green, uh, Biltan green and Reichlin flesh shade here. Any of your deep recesses makes it stand out a little better. Uh, like I said, we're just going to go hit it with a clear coat, glue it on there, call it done. That worked out easier than I thought it would. Yeah, so these things turned out pretty good. I'm going to be using them for D&D. Most likely going to be on some kind of frozen plane or tundra. Party's going to have to go out there and find these arcane remnants. But I think they'd be pretty good markers too for Age of Sigmar, Warcry, something like that. Anyways, tell me what you thought. Leave something in the comments. Like, subscribe. Thanks, guys. 
बाय